On the 21st of November 2016, a sudden weather phenomenon took Melbourne by surprise. These storms were in a long line, ensuring the particles of pollen were inhaled across a wide area, a mass outbreak over Melbourne. Um, well, my mum actually had trouble breathing. Temperatures dropped and thunderstorms swept across the city and surrounding suburbs. Like, kind of, like, really sudden, it swept over really, really quickly. Now, it's not the first time this has happened, but this storm was different. I think because it just it all happened so quickly, um, I think it caught everyone off guard. 8,500 people were hospitalised and nine people died, all linked to thunderstorm asthma. I remember the day well, as I'm sure many of you do. The pollen count was very high. We were in late November, and when that storm hit, the hospitals were at capacity. The ambulance service stretched to their limits and we were in the middle of the largest thunderstorm asthma event the world had ever seen. Asthma causes the airways in a person's lungs to become overly sensitive and certain environmental triggers such as dust, pollen, mould and even pets can cause them to flare up. When a flare up occurs, the muscles in the airways tighten, the airways swell, become narrower and it makes it difficult to breathe. The statistics are frightening. One in nine people suffer from asthma. It's been described by sufferers as someone squeezing their chest to the point of near suffocation. While asthma is treatable with the right medication, at present there is still no cure. One person who felt the full brunt of this weather event was nurse Nerina Fiamengo. Not only was she assisting those in need at Footscray Hospital, she also suffered from its effects. So the storm kind of hit around about 6pm at night but your experience is quite unique because you had symptoms earlier that day. Yeah. I get asthma every now and then, it's not normally an issue. And I got really wheezy, I felt tight across the chest. Um, I felt really itchy every time grass touched me. Um, and I started getting a runny nose and I kept sneezing. And I'm thinking this is just really strange, it must be a, must be a strange wind coming through. The theory behind thunderstorm asthma is that during certain storm conditions, pollen grains absorb moisture, then burst into smaller fragments and absorbed into the lungs. If you're prone to asthma, hay fever or allergies, this is the perfect storm. I got a phone call asking if I'd come in early and she's gone, that'd be great. Um, it's crazy here, we've got patients everywhere, there's um, this mass influx of asthma. Certainly I've been nursing for 11 years, I've been in emergency for all that time and we've never had such presentations all in a short window. And then you had all these people coming in with respiratory symptoms and you had the ambulances coming in through one door with um, a lot of patients that were just acutely unwell. Um, I think I triage someone every 60 seconds. This storm caught everyone off guard. And so this never happens again, the Victorian government has committed $15 million to developing an early alert system designed to forecast potential thunderstorm asthma risks. I caught up with Professor Charles Guest, Victoria's Chief Health Officer, to find out more. So there's information on the Better Health Channel and there's information on the Victoria Emergency website and an app to go with it. it, it basically puts together the information on storm and pollen. It's uh, uh, something you can adjust to exactly where you are, so you get a localised warning. This system is designed to alert Victorians to the potential risks associated with imminent thunderstorms. But while asthma sufferers in other parts of Australia should always have their medication with them, it's important for Victorians in particular to have a contingency plan if another storm hits. Certainly I think you should go and see your local doctor um, early. Secondly, carry your medication with you at all times. Um, having Ventolin on standby and some antihistamines makes a huge difference. Uh, stay indoors, download the app. Uh, if you know that there's a high pollen count or a chance of a thunderstorm, please don't go outside. Um, and overall, just be prepared. This is something that um, wasn't expected last year and we certainly can preempt it this year. Um, so have things on standby and just think about it um, for future. Yeah, well, let's hope it never happens again. But Fingers if it crossed. does, they sound like some yep. great tips. Thank you. <laughs>